is a chronic inflammation of the airways associated with bronchial hyperresponsiveness and inflammation. Patient might complain of cough that would occur more in the morning or at night, chest tightness, difficulty of breathing, and shortness of breath. This can be triggered by different aeroallergens like house dust mites, pollens, smoke, pollution, and also animal dandruff like that of dogs and cats. Sometimes, people might say that when you're asthmatic, you can be cured. The truth is, it can be controlled. That is the reason children at the age of 7 to 10 years old have lesser coughing episodes or difficulty of breathing. But it can be triggered again as they become older, especially when they reach puberty or maybe exposure to smoke. When you talk about chronic lung disease, this would include COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and interstitial lung disease. There are different ways to determine if the patient has COPD. So these are patients who would complain of cough and would be exposed to excessive smoking. There are different misconceptions with regards to COPD. A lot of people would say COPD is the same as asthma. Most of the time, patients would say coughing that would occur any time of the day is already part and parcel of asthma. But actually, those with COPD would have these manifestations. Management of COPD would include inhalational medication and oral medication, which are almost the same as that of asthma. There are different forms of medications that can be given. We have what we call a reliever medication. These are medications taken by a patient to relieve their difficulty of breathing or to relieve their acute asthma attack. Controller medications, on the other hand, would help prevent recurrences of symptoms like coughing and difficulty of breathing. It can be delivered using dry powdered inhaler, meter dose inhaler, and nebulization. But it is dependent on the age and of course, the ability of the person to inhale the medication properly. When a patient would use dry powdered inhaler, the patient should have a strong inhalational technique or be able to breathe deeply for the medication to be delivered properly. The other form is that of meter dose inhaler wherein accurate hand and mouth coordination is very important. The other form of inhalation therapy is that of through nebulization. This is very good and important especially for those who have lots of mucus or those who are very young, who have difficulty following the techniques, and at the same time, who are severely deceased. Nebulization is a process of delivering medication and transforming liquid medications through inhalation. There are different types of nebulizers that can be used. We have the compressor nebulizer, which is more available, but then it takes time for the medications to set inside. The other types of nebulizers are that of ultrasonic nebulization and mesh nebulizer. The medications can be delivered at a faster rate. What are the different things that we should consider when prescribing nebulization? We check on the age of the patient and the ability to inhale because children have more difficulty on taking in medication because of the noise and at times on the mist that they see, they get scared easily. We also check on the nebulization rate because the faster the nebulization doesn't necessarily mean that medications would set in inside the lungs. But what we should consider is the particle size, wherein the particle size should be 2.5 micrometer to ensure that it would enter the distal or the smaller airways. We also should consider how it can be delivered. This would mean the use of face masks for adequate delivery of the medications. How do we instruct our patients or parents in using nebulization? We let our patients sit upright or maybe in a relaxed position for adequate inhalation of the medication. And of course, we should always remember that residual volume is expected. This doesn't mean that the liquid medications is not delivered directly, but these are just normal. After nebulization, we wash the nebulizing kit to ensure proper infection and allergen control and prevent clogging. 
Patient education plays an important role in asthma management and chronic lung disease. So it is important that you follow up with your doctor for proper medication and proper management of your illnesses.